guys. I was absolutely horrified when I looked at my YouTube today and I realised it had been such a long time since I'd recorded. I've been wanting to record for ages but I'm having a real sort of perfection, like, analysis paralysis sort of thing at the moment so I just, I'm trying really hard to get my room sort of perfect and I'm really struggling to get it to the place that I really want it to be at so I don't want to film anything. And today I was just like, right, I just have to go and do it because otherwise I'm just gonna, it'll never be perfect and so I'll never film anything again and I thought that that was not something I wanted to do. So here I am. I am not here to do a floss tube update, I'm here to do a sort of craft tube update. Um, I haven't done any stitching since the last time I filmed, I, I mean I may have done like a week or two but nothing substantial and I've just been mega busy, I can't even explain to you how busy I've been so I haven't done any stitching at all. I have been up doing other things which is sort of why I've been not stitching because I've been doing other crafts as well and I'm going to give you a small update if you're not interested and you're only here for floss tube then I'm sorry to disappoint there will be another floss tube video at some point but not today. The first thing that I wanted to show you all is something that you have all seen before and this is the Doctor Who scarf. It is done. <laughs> You're a little bit close to me so I can't show you the full extent of it but I will sort of give you a another thing to give you an idea of what it's like but I finished knitting this on Monday. It's taken me 10 months to get to this point which is absolutely mental. We're having a bit of a discussion about whether or not I'm going to put tassels on it. You can probably see I still need to like sew in all the ends. I had been assuming that John didn't want tassels the whole time I was knitting it because I've knitted him scarves before where I've been the one being like John you should put tassels on this and he's been like no I don't I don't like tassels. What I didn't factor in is that the original scarf does have tassels and John looked at the photos of the original scarf and said yes actually I do want tassels. So there was me thinking that I was done and I really wasn't done. Um, so also I have another problem. I managed to calculate my yarn requirements so perfectly that this is all I have left of the grey and the green. It's not enough for tassels and I've had suggestions that I should leave it out but I don't want to do that. Um, I like being perfect, so if it has all the seven colours in the scarf then all the seven colours should also be in the tassel. So I'm going to have to order some more yarn, which I will do shortly, um, I've been on my to-do list for a little while, and then I'll have loads of excess yarn, so then I thought maybe I could make a hat or something to match the scarf, I don't know if you'd ever wear it, but I'll have the yarn in the same colour so why not give it a go, right? We worked out that there are... 68,904 stitches in the whole scarf. That may not be exact, I'm calling that figure off the top of my head, but um, it's a lot of stitches. It's 66 stitches per row and 1,044 rows. Um, it's been quite the mammoth task. I feel like I'm definitely a proper knitter now. I feel like I have been, I don't know, working towards this moment where I could just sit down and knit 1,044 rows of garter stitch. <laughs> definitely grown as a person. So yeah, that is off the needles and I'm thrilled. So back in July, it was my birthday and John got together with all of my friends and they decided that they were going to buy me a silversmithing course. Now, I've never done silversmithing before, I've done a little bit of jewellery making, but the reason he chose it was because there's this folk art centre nearby that we used to go to that has a weekend long course on in November. I was absolutely thrilled, but I was also a little bit like, I don't know if I want to go away on a weekend and spend one weekend doing it. And there was this woman at work who overheard me talking about it with somebody else, and she was like, oh, I go to a silversmithing lesson in Bristol. And she gave me all the contact details, and I gave those contact details to John, and he signed me up for those classes instead. So I started on, I think it was the 6th or the 7th of September, I'm not really sure. It's a 12 week long course, and I have two hours every Thursday where I go and I do some silversmithing. I've finished two projects already. The first one was this. It's a little cat ring. It fits either my index finger or my middle finger, depending on how hot the day it is. And I went for a cat because I like cats. I am a crazy cat lady. I'm happy to own that fact. Um, yeah, I will put an sort of step-by-step -step vlog on 
plutoniummuffins.com about how I made that because I've sort of already started writing that one up. Um, so if you want to find out more about the ring then head on over to plutoniummuffins.com. The other thing that I've recently completed is a map of Africa. So I'm from Africa and Zimbabwe, which is the little cutout country, is where I spent sort of the ages between five and ten. So I remember that more than South Africa, which is where I was actually born. I cut the shape out and then I rolled it through a metal press with a skeletonized leaf and it put this like gorgeous sort of almost cracked earth texture in it. Um, which just is so perfect. I mean, if you've if you've ever seen photos of baked earth, that is Africa. So yeah, I was really, really pleased with this project. I still am going to polish it up a bit more tomorrow, which is when the next lesson is. Um, and I put it on a chain. And I didn't put it on the chain in the lesson, I did it here at home, and I put a big scratch on the back of it, so I need to go and polish that out. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's just this this whole thing. So basically it was like a little rectangle of silver and then I covered it in masking tape. And then from my phone, I traced the map of Africa and then I, I put a little Zimbabwe in there as well. And up here you can see I was debating doing Zimbabwe rather than Africa. Um, and then I put this face down on the masking tape and scribbled over the back of it and that transferred the shape onto the silver and the masking tape. And then I used a little saw to cut it out. It took, it took two hours just to cut it out. And then to do the Zimbabwe, I had to drill a little hole through the middle and then attach the saw blade to the saw through the hole so that I was in the center there and then cut that out. And it was really fiddly. I think I broke about four saw blades because they're tiny, they're ab like they're so, so thin. I really like silversmithing. It's, it's quite expensive. So I don't know if I'll do another course after these 12 weeks. I'm sort of happy to invest the money in it if I re if I think I'm really gonna get loads out of it, but at this point I'm not really sure if I'm getting enough out of it to justify the cost. But I will end up with some amazing pieces of jewelry even if I don't do it again. So I'm, I'm really, I'm so grateful to my friends and John and my family and John's family and everybody who's contributed to it and John for thinking that that was a thing that I would like to do without me ever having had it on my radar because he was totally right like I love it um, and you know that's really special to know that people sort of support your habit. <laughs> I'm getting a bit serious now so I think I'm gonna go. Uh, the Great British Bake Off is on tonight so I'm going to go and watch that and play with my little kitty who is currently walking around the room like a little tiger. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry it's been so long. I'm sorry it's not a floss tube video but I I still want to talk with you guys I can share it and I hope you enjoyed it. If you would like to see more of this sort of content then let me know in the comments, I'd love to know what sort of stuff you're looking for. I mean I am a multi-crafter of note, you can see my sewing machine on the back there. I have a massive quilt to show you all when it's done. Um, so I just do a bit of everything and if you're interested in, in seeing it then let me know because I sort of think oh I've started this as a floss tube channel and now I'm not really doing much floss tube, so yeah, whatever. Subscribe if you'd like to see more and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you all next time. Bye!